Dear colleagues and friends, as chair of the Commission on the Status of Women, I welcome you all to the 61st session, which will open on 13 March 2017 at the United Nations headquarters in New York. A special welcome to ministers and senior government officials and to the large and vibrant civil society community. Together, we make the annual sessions of the Commission the place to be for sharing experiences, good practices, and lessons learned. Most importantly, this is the space for agreeing to key actions to be taken by governments and other stakeholders to accelerate the full and effective implementation of the Beijing Platform for Action. The 20-year review of implementation of the Beijing Platform for Action concluded that no country has fully achieved gender equality and women's and girls' empowerment. Subsequently, the Universal 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development confirmed the centrality of gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls to sustainable development and poverty eradication and for progress across all the sustainable development goals and targets. Through the priority theme for the 61st session, Women's Economic Empowerment in the Changing World of Work, the Commission has an opportunity to provide normative guidance on a theme that is of critical importance everywhere. In the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, our leaders envisaged a world in which every country enjoys sustained, inclusive, and sustainable economic growth and decent work for all. Women's economic empowerment is a prerequisite to realize this vision. We should use the deliberations and related outcomes to draw out and highlight the key policy areas that are most critical to the priority theme. The Commission will also review implementation of the agreed conclusions from its 58th session on challenges and achievements in the implementation of the Millennium Development Goals for women and girls, and examine the focus area of empowerment of indigenous women. Let us seize the moment and agree on those actions that will most decisively contribute to accelerated implementation of the Platform for Action and bring real changes to the lives of women and girls everywhere. I wish us all a memorable and successful session. Thank you.